Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this crochet wig. All the materials that I use for this video will be linked in the description box. So my thought process going into making this wig is that I wanted a full crochet wig that didn't require a lot of leave out. So here you see me crocheting the hair along the band just so that I'll have the option to be able to put the hair in a ponytail. So for this install, I'm using the Cuban twist hair. And here I was kind of experimenting with how small I wanted the sections to be. Along the end of the band, I used small sections. Um, so I divided each Cuban twist strand into eight sections. Here I started using bigger sections so I think this is the Cuban twist hair divided into four sections. I'm going to install the hair this way for this entire back section. At this point, I decided that I wanted my sections to be smaller. I just wanted to ensure that the wig would lay flat. So I wanted the knots to be as small as possible. So basically from here on out, I divided each piece of the Cuban twist hair into eight sections and I installed the hair this way. This is what the hair starts to look like as I make my way up this middle section. As you can see, the hair is pretty full. So at this point, I want to start to straighten the hair just to make sure that I have the proper coverage. Um, I don't want to have too little hair, but I also want to make sure that I don't have so much hair. Um, I'm trying to go for a certain density with this style. So this is a good point to stop and check that you are installing the hair the way that you want it to be. The good thing about this wig is that it's easy to add more if you don't have enough hair or take some out if you have too much. So this is what the hair looks like once it is straight. Um, I think I like the coverage so far so I'm going to continue with the method that I was doing. So at this point, I have installed the hair on both sides of the wig. And again, I used those same eight sections to install the hair. And now I only have the top left to do. I forgot to also mention that I'm doing the invisible knot method to install this. So basically, I'm only pulling one strand of the hair through. I did it this way to make sure that the hair would lay as flat as possible. So this is what the hair looked like once I got all the way to the front. And along that front hairline, I divided the Cuban twist hair into 16 sections to make sure the knots were very small along the hairline. I ended up using almost three full packs of the Cuban twist hair for this install. Now I'm just gonna show you some of my process of straightening the hair and getting it super straight.
Alright y'all, so this is what the hair was looking like once I finished straightening it. Um, as you guys know, I really love this texture of hair. Um, so I was really loving the way it was looking in its straight style. But of course, for the look that I'm going for, I'm going to be curling the hair. So at this point, I have already curled the back portion of the wig. You guys ask me a lot about the maintenance of the straight crochet braids. And if you are a get up and go type of person, then the curls is the easiest way to maintain this hair. Alright, so this is what the hair was looking like once I finished curling it. I was playing around with the different size rollers I was using, but I ended up using mostly the medium size purple rollers because I love the way those curls were coming out. So for this hair, I used mostly just the medium size rollers to curl it. Alright y'all, now it's time to install this wig. Um, so I just have six straight cornrows going back and then I have the perimeter of my hair left out. So my leave out isn't super straight. I just quickly passed a hot comb over it on the low setting so my hair is still pretty textured but as you can see um, it still blends pretty well with this crochet hair so I'm just trying to get everything in place and how I want it um, what I realized about my leave out is that I needed way less leave out than I initially anticipated um, so here you're just going to see me trying to tuck some of that extra leave out under the wig. I found that the least leave out that I had out, the better it looked. So that's what you see me doing. Alright guys, so here are the final results. Honestly, when I start these crochet projects, I really don't know how it's going to come out. Um, so I'd just be hoping and wishing that it comes out the way that I envision. But for this style, I was really happy with the way it came out. I really wanted to go for a style that you can just put on and go. And it looks natural and you really don't need a lot of leave out. So that's what I was going with when I was creating this look. I really wanted to go for a longer look this time. So I kept most of the length on the Cuban twist hair once I straightened it. Um, this was the Cuban twist hair in 12 inches. Um, and it still straightened out to be pretty long. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about this crochet wig down below. Would you try it? Um, how do you think it looks? Be sure to leave all of your questions and comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.